Several local law enforcement agencies teamed up on the streets of Sarasota County Wednesday in an attempt to serve 160 warrants. This could be a dangerous job because sometimes the warrants are for violent criminals. SNN Local News 6 photojournalist Chris Kennedy was the only member of the media allowed to ride along during this warrant sweep, dubbed Operation Joint Forces. The operation is going to start at 12.30 and go roughly till like 9.30, 10 o'clock. This is the guy we're going after. It's a sex offender probation violation. We have the U.S. Marshals Task Force out of Tampa. Venice Police. Sarasota Police Department Street Crimes Unit. Our civil section K-9 agriculture and the uh, warrant squad as well as supplemented by some patrol personnel. This one's a county-wide sweep that was coined Operation Joint Forces since we're utilizing all the agencies in the uh, Sarasota County area. There are no Vaughn Warren, right? Okay. Global City's molestation and fondling, all right? It's a violation of probation. Yeah, I understand. I'm telling you what the original charge is, oh, all right? Okay. That's my job. I'll tell you what the warrant's for, okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess. So that's kind of the way you like them all to go down. Absolutely. No problems. No fighting. No hiding. No lying. Just handcuffs and in custody. That mean, looks totally different. Yeah. Tube appears to be marijuana. We haven't tested it yet. And this is his paraphernalia smoking pipe. We walked inside, presented ourselves with the sheriff's office, and he decided to resist. He didn't want to go, so we had to take him down to, to the ground to effect the arrest. I didn't know that you guys were police until I was already on the ground talking about cuffing. Okay. Then I knew you guys were police, and I loosened up. Right. I wasn't resisting. It's a catch me if you can uh, mentality, and that's uh, you know, our job to uh, catch him. So. so you're on to the next one? On to the next one, absolutely. Okay. Thanks. Operation Joint Forces rounded up 24 fugitives. The Sheriff's Office brought in extra jail personnel to handle all the bookings.